congratulations on what was a, an amazing performance. Now you've had a time to had time to take it all in. How do you reflect on what was a, a superb win, Tom, and, and a, a brilliant performance from you? Yeah, you know, it was um, from the position we were in. It was it was really unbelievable. You don't really see that very often, um, and I think that's just testament to to like Baz Stokesy, the the change room, all the staff, and I think the way Popey played as well really gave us that opportunity. Really, um, and I still can't believe we won from that situation. To be honest, yeah, and and your performance, Tom, was all all the more. Uh, impressive because in the first innings you were knocked him out of it and then you came storming back with those sec- seven wickets. Just talk us through the emotions that you that you went through in the uh, in the test. Well, yeah, obviously after that, um, the first day was pretty tough. You know, um, you know, I thought they'd come after me, but not to that extent really. Um, you know, having to think I ball didn't ball too poorly, um, and it was just you know it was just hard going. Obviously, it was hard watching. Um, you know, their spinners really turn it on that first day and then to not get much turn on the second day really was a bit frustrating. Um, but, you know, I knew I could bowl um, better than I did. Um, and, you know, having talked with a few of the coaches, especially Jeetan, um, you know, we had a really good plan going into that fourth day. How did you feel emotionally, Tom? Because obviously it's your debut. It's such a huge moment for you when, you know, the, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, wicket started to to happen for you how did you feel uh you know I was just buzzing I was I think you could see by the celebrations I was just over the moon that I you know I was doing contributing for the team really um and you know I think it was um when that Barrett wicket went down you know they, they built a pretty good partnership there and you know it was just starting to turn I think they probably just started to favor themselves a little bit um so getting that wicket and then that just meant the rest of them came crumbling a little bit. It was just fantastic. And to finish it that evening was was even better, really. Yeah, you like a celebration, Tom, don't you? Yeah, well, after getting whacked in the first innings, you know, I thought I just need a little bit of revenge here. So, um, yeah, I think it was kind of harmless, but I just really showed my emotion, really. It was great to see. Just a final question from me. Um, I went to see your family the other day, uh, spoke to your mum. Uh, and your sister and, and your dad obviously is so so proud of you. How does that make you feel, Tom, that you've you've done this and you've you've made the people closest to you so proud? You know, it's it's a great feeling. I know they've they've supported me so much. Um, I know my mum's washed a lot of my dirty whites. Um, my dad's <laughs> taken me to a lot of away day <laughs> training sessions. Um, you know, they they've just had a massive part to play in supporting me the whole way. So to put a smile on their face and hopefully a few more people into the garden centre, you know, that's that's fantastic, really. I'm aware that they've all been on the TV back home, on ITV and the BBC. Have they been telling you about it? Yeah, they've told me they've not got much work done <laughs> these last couple of days. I think, the, obviously, there's been a few reporters coming in and calling in. Um, but it's great for them. You know, they've they've massively supported me, so for them to get a bit of, bit of limelight is, is great. Your mum said to us, she said she knew you were good, but she didn't know you were that good. Yeah, she <laughs> she um she doesn't come to watch me a whole lot. Um, she's normally down in the business, but um, you know, uh, especially myself and my dad, we like to downplay and stay very level headed. So we don't. Uh, um, my dad doesn't really um express how 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 I've been getting on and how I'm progressing as a player, but um. I think now she's starting to realise a little bit. To everybody back here, it feels like one of those magical moments when a sports star is born. Does it feel different for you or does it just feel like you've played a good game of cricket? Uh, To be honest, it feels like I've had a good game of cricket. I know um, know, there's there's a good chance that I might have a big role in these next couple of games. Um, so for me, you know, as much as a great win it was, you know, there's there's still four more games really, and you know, I still want to get picked and play in them, and um, you know, do as as well as possible because at the end of the day, the the series win is what we want, you know, um, that's the biggest thing for me really. Um, just two more for me, please, if that's okay. Your, your coach has spoken about one of the reasons that he he picked you was because of your character, and I've read some quotes from you this week talking about being a fighter and wanting to throw some punches. What, how would you describe your character, and, and where has that come from? 
Um, you know, I think a lot of it comes from um, playing at my club, Ormskirk. I think, you know, they've um, really brought me up, really, and, you know, playing with um, a lot of older players, you know, they sort of tend to peg you down a little bit and keep you level-headed and, you know, try and put some... Uh, try and put an older head on you really. And I think, you know, my dad's really helped me with that as well. And, um, you know, I, you know, they, 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 they pick you up whenever you need you and, you know, just, just keeping levels the main thing. And just finally, this, this new chant that's, that's come out now, the, the, I want to dance with Tom Hartley. We've been seeing it all over Twitter. Uh, tell us about the history of that. And are, are you, are you cool with this? Uh, yeah, I, I think, um, oof, uh, I was, probably just about 18 um, when it happened. Um, you know, I think it was after a good Sunday win. Um, you know, we we really value our Sunday cricket, cup cricket at Ormskirk. And, you know, um, I think we had a pretty good run in the national comp that year and um, some really good away days. Um, and, you know, that's just what sparked from it, really. And it was uh, rather embarrassing. But, uh, you know, hopefully there's a new Thank you so much and, and congratulations on a great performance. Just a word about your, your batting, really, because obviously a, a lot's rightly been made of the fact that you took the seven wickets in the innings, but you also put in a very useful knock with the, the back, uh, bat and the, the stand with Ollie Pope there. How much confidence does that give you when you're then going into an innings to bowl after having a good knock with the bat? Yeah, you know, it's um, fantastic. You know, for me, it's I'm all about contrast and trying to um you know contribute where I can um so when you know I can give a bit with the bat it kind of eases my ball a little bit knowing that um you know I can I can contribute in more ways than one and you know especially in that second inning seeing Popey bat the way that he did I really wanted to try and get him to 200 really and unfortunately it wasn't to be but um you know I think we just focused on partnerships really than looked at the scoreboard and you mentioned there about Ormskirk and, you know, you, you obviously played for Ormskirk for a number of years as a junior and then went through the Lancashire age group teams. They've produced a lot of good cricketers, haven't they, as a club? How much, how integral was Ormskirk, do you think, to your development as a cricketer? Oh, it was huge. You know, they, um, from a really young age, they allowed me to play, you know, second team, first team cricket and not only just play, they allowed me to really progress as a player. You know, they gave me the them long spells, like 20, 25 over, uh, over spells. You know, they battered me up the order, down the order. You know, they really gave me a, a big variety of learnings, really. And, you know, even in tight situations, you know, they always backed me. And, you know, there were there were times when probably I shouldn't have bowled and we'd lost games. But, you know, I, I'm more, I feel like over my career there, they I'm more than made up for it. And, you know, they, they treated me like, like I was going to be a... Um, almost like a superstar. So they, you know, they just progressed me where they could and they've just been hands down so good to me. And just one final one from me, if I may. Last time uh, when we spoke, we were talking about you working on the, the family farm in Lydiat as a, as a youngster. Obviously, you're on tour for a while now. Have they got you penciled in for any shifts when you, you get back from India at all? Uh, I think so. I think uh, I'll be coming up to bed and plant season when we get back. Uh, so hopefully I'll have a bit of time off before I uh, mix up back with Lancashire. And, uh, you know, I, I struggle to sit still all day. So, um, you know, I like helping my dad out and the family. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. There's been quite a lot made about how Ben Stokes captain you during this, especially during the first innings. What was he saying to you and how important is it to have a captain like that who's willing to back you, even though things might not be going as, as planned? Uh, yeah, you know, there wasn't um, wasn't too much. You know, we didn't um, sort of dwell on things. I think that's the the great thing about that change room is you know the the past is in the past, and we sort of um, you know always looked at next innings and what we can do better, really. Um, and that's what we did. And obviously, it, it can be chaotic with him captaining. You know, you look around and there was a fielder there, the over the ball before, the over before. You know, he's always changing it, but. You know, he, he likes to have that chaos in the field and, you know, I, I just got to keep everything simple with the ball and he's not asking me to do anything different, you know. Um, he just wants me to ball the same ball and, um, you know, he, he can look after the rest. Must have given you confidence, though, for him to keep you on so often and to keep going back to you. Yeah, you know, it could have been really easy for him to, to take me off. Um, 
involves someone else. But um, you know, it, it's always a nice feeling when when captains do give you them long spells. And you know, for me, the best thing was being able to 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 take them seven wickets and you know put a smile on his face and you know feel so happy that you put that trust in me. Do you think India will approach you slightly different in the second test now? Now they know a bit more about you. Uh, no idea. <laughs> uh, I would have thought so. Um, you know, I think a lot of that will have to depend on the wicket. Um, but, you know, either way, if they come after me, if they don't, I think we're ready for all situations. And, and just looking quickly ahead to Lancashire next season, we've got Nathan Lyon coming in for the whole season. Have, have mm. you spoken to the club about how much bowling you're going to get? Because obviously he's going to be the main number one spiller, you would have thought. Yeah, no, we, there's not been much said yet. Um, you know, hopefully I'd like to see us play together. Um, you know, I feel like uh, as progressing as um, trying to fill into an all-rounder role, I feel like, you know, if I can improve my batting, that, that we can uh, both play alongside each other. And if not, that and he's a great person to learn off. And um, I'm sure he'll be sick of me by, uh, by September. <laughs> Tom, no doubt you've had uh, lots of messages of support from from back home, from your family, but also from friends and uh, no doubt Omskirk Cricket Club as well. What what's that been like, and how much do you do you appreciate that support back home? Yeah, you know it's fantastic. I think my my phone didn't stop buzzing for about twenty four hours. I reckon. Um, you, you know, it's just amazing. You know, um, you don't realise how many people um, are so invested and in, in watch Test cricket. You know. Um, you know, people I didn't think would message me, and you know, it's just so nice to put um, a smile on the the, the Ormskirk fans' faces because I know how much time and effort they've put into me. So, um, you know, just to to repay that favour is just amazing, really. Thank you, Tom, and many congratulations.